Hey everybody, welcome to the Keto Mom page. My name is Stephanie. This and is my I'm Steve. amazing husband, Steve. We are in Florida, so it's a little different background than we normally have. We're from Minnesota. My husband decided to book us a trip to Florida. I wasn't super keen on coming, and then we got here, and I was like, this is great. It is great. I think it's, I think it's one of the best places. On it's one Earth. of his favorite places. Okay, where are you tuning in from? And if you live in Florida, do you love it? We've lived in Florida for a season. <clears throat> He'll probably move us back here part-time. Today's going to be an amazing day. And it's because we're going to talk about choices. Yeah. I don't really know what we're getting into. Stephanie's read ahead. But this I've is going to be... I've read almost the whole book. This is going to be... On the airplane last night. Some information that Yesterday. if you apply it to your life, you will go to the next level. So here is the book, if you're following along, or maybe you have the book with you, we're going to dive into chapter two. Yesterday in the afternoon, we just, we just talked about chapter one, and it was basically some stories, and really what it boiled down to is he's going to, he just introduced the compound effect, what it is, and he just basically said the secret to success is hard work, discipline, and good habits. And so I really, I really just wanted to recap the whole thing and tell you what you should do, but we're going to go through the book <laughs> chapter by chapter, mainly because, I'll t Steve, I told them yesterday, mm. I said, there has been something that I've not been coaching. In fact, I've been telling people not to do it because I'm like, it's not a big deal. Uh oh. And then I was like, the book says otherwise, Uh oh. which we did in the very beginning of our life. So like, you got some small correction yesterday. Yes. The book said, you're doing it wrong. Uh oh. So does that mean you apply everything that you read in a book? Yeah. How do you know if you filter it between truth or trash? Well, here's what I want you to understand. We're going to talk so about... so why should people even listen to you? Right. Well, you follow the people that have already done it and have made mistakes, for sure. I think that's important. Uh, and you I, also look at the fruit of their life. I would say that, too. Yeah. I'll tell you this. She's worth following and listening I to. I promise you. Promise lo you. I loved this book. And... Remember in the very beginning when you started the keto diet, like the very beginning? Yes. What were you doing differently then than you were doing today? Hmm. Well, I was hyper-focused. And? Hyper-focused, extremely disciplined, and I had a burning desire. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I forgot. Well, it was what were so you bad. doing then? <laughs> I was so bad I didn't want to bring that up. I had to track everything. Everything. He well, tracked everything. What gets measured gets managed. Actually, I, I love that. Everything. He tracked everything. everything. So I, I don't remember the chapter that it covers that in this book, but oftentimes, I'll give you an example. Somebody yesterday messaged me, and we're going to talk about choices, but she said, hey, I'm doing keto. We had the keto conversation, and I said, you're actually not doing keto. You're doing low carb. I said, are you tracking your food? She said, no. I said, are you aware of the choices you're making? And she said, I think so. And then it brought me back to this book and it made me realize he basically says this in any area of your life mm -hmm. that you're wanting success. And he talks about your weight or he talks about your health and he talks about relationships. He talks about how often people say they don't have time. And he says, you need to get very, very specific really for good. a week, at least two weeks. And we did this in the very beginning. Mm -hmm. We tracked everything that we ate. He says, if you're not tracking every single thing, you can easily come up with an excuse of why it won't work why it's not working you get into this rut of like it will never i will never but if you just take a little bit of time and have a teeny little notebook in your pocket really and he good. says every time and we're not there yet and i'll give you very specific details when we go to that point but like for me i don't feel like i need to track my food anymore but i need to track my time because i often am like i don't have enough oh, time this is so good actually you're kind of hitting me like right in the heart right now like, as, as I answered those questions and you were asking me, like, well, what did you do back then that you're not doing now? All of those answers that I just said, that was live on the spot. That's what you're going to get. Those are things I should be doing right now. I think sometimes Whoa, people, hello. I think sometimes, we had a little, yes, look at well, this. I think sometimes Perfect. people don't like, here's what, what happens. I don't want to track. I, it takes too much time. I don't want to do it. But if you really want true change, you're going to have to shift things and you've got to visibly see it. Like, Oh, it's crazy. It makes me think like the, the whole saying of like, choose your heart because that's hard. It is hard. You have to choose your heart. But Our good friend Steve teaches yes, us about that. Yes. So that's not actually the chapter we're going to go through. And we're only going to go through part of this because I really want, as much as I, I like to dive in, get an entire book done and then try to apply as much as I can right away. Often, he also says in the book, hey, slow down and take it slow so you can actually implement what you're learning. 
So you think sometimes you can try to take on too much or do too much all I do. at one time? Yes. <clears throat> all right. So what happens just keep it in mind. Actually, what I would do is I would, tr as we're reading and going through the book, even right now, where do you want better in your life? Is, and, if, and what is the so excuse good. that you're using? So he says, first you need to come up with what, what are the excuses of like, I don't have the right foods. I can't make the right choices. Mm -hmm. I, I, fall to the, I fall to whatever the coworkers are eating or nobody supports me. I don't have the time. It doesn't matter what the excuse is. He's going to give you a, a way to figure it out. I think I love that aspect of it. I mean, sometimes you can get caught up in your own story of creating excuses and then it's easy to play the victim card. Right. But, and I was also thinking like, if you do take on too much too soon, you can get overwhelmed so easily. And that's why we've, that's why we've always talked about the power of systems and small habits and stacking right. those habits. Right. All right, so we are on chapter two. If you wanna follow along, if you're just gonna tune in, my hope is, our hope is to give you something to think about today. So, he basically starts off and he talks about your choices. Your choices can be your best friend or your worst enemy. They can deliver us to our goals or send us orbiting into the galaxies far, far away from nothing that you've ever wanted to achieve, <laughs> right? You might experience that, like I'm nowhere near what I want for my, for my life. So, Everything in your life exists because you first made a choice. Choices are the root of every one of our results. Each choice is start a behavior at over time becomes a habit. So basically every single thing that you do every single day creates a habit, good or bad, right or wrong. And really he says, in essence, you make your choices and your choices make you. It's so good. We were talking to our good friend Rob last night and he was talking about how every day he just switches the side of the bed that he gets in because it creates just a little bit of change in his life. Have you ever thought about that? Like what are the, some of those little things you can do in your life to create just a little bit of change? I think it's so important because sometimes you can just get caught up in doing the, the same, same things. Thing. And over it may and not over. be the healthiest habits over and that over. you're doing over right. and over and right. over again. Same things. We're doing a, a live. A couple I mean, you should see this muscle bound We're warrior that's walking towards <laughs> us. We're talking about the compound effect. Do you want to share what? It's a great book. That's, we're talking about choices. You want to come and say hi? I mean, I like the, I personally like, you don't know what I'm going to say okay, on this hold, live. Though. It's all right. You want me to be just blunt and honest? Yeah. I love the, I love the concept of the compound effect. Okay. But the author of this book, yeah. I think, is a prick. Oh. And he, <laughs> oh, no. And he, no, he big time me. Okay. Oh. Like, so, you know, he's this network marketing speaker. Yeah. He's positioned himself. And so I met him like three different times. And every time I met him, he big time me. Like, Wait, I like, don't know what big time mean. What does that mean? Like he kind of shunned me, stuck his nose up. Like, like, so he talks all this stuff about treating people well. Yeah. So I met him with Jarek Robbins in San Diego for the first time at this like mixer event. And he kind of glad hands me like, you know, like, oh, hi. Like didn't even look like, at me hey, in hey. the eyes. Like, cause I wasn't big enough for him. Yeah. He was like looking for the next person in the room that could boost his ego. That yeah. was, and then he found out that's right. When Ripplin was popping. Then he found out I was the CEO of Ripplin. So then he came back around and tried to like, yeah, like connect with me. And then the second time I met him, he forgot who I was and big time me again. But because of the person I was with later on, yeah. same exact thing happened. Yeah. Oh. So I love the concept of yes. the book. No, I get it. You know, but also understanding the. But I'm just saying, just because someone has a name on a book doesn't necessarily mean that. They're better than anyone else, I guess. No, that's, that's my good. Point. It is good. So when I saw it, it just like, well, it gave me the association. Okay, so let me ask you this question. So we, I go through a book. This is the Keto Mom page. So we go through the book, a book every day to help people understand their mindset, right? So like most people want fat loss, and they just their mindset is so. So every book but that only, we go through, but, but to get fat loss, it is the compound effect, right? right. Like if you want to right. lose weight, be more vital, it is the compound effect. Right. Like so, it's a little bit every day, consistently. Right. So uh, Kobe Bryant, actually Ed Milet, I told him about this with his book, uh, One More, it's The Power more. of One More. Yeah. So Kobe Bryant has a video you should send to everybody. It's awesome. But it, he talks about how this is the compound effect, how he wanted to be the best player in the world. Yeah. So most players have two workouts a day. So he's like, you know, they get up at 8 or 9, get to the gym by 10, practice for a couple hours, go right. home, eat, refresh, go back to the gym, practice for a couple hours, yeah. come home, go to bed, do it over. So he said, look, if I get up at four and I get to the gym by six and I have a workout or, you know, an hour or two workout, go home, refresh, go back at 11, do the two hours, come back, eat lunch, refresh, go back, I can get three workouts in. Right. 
So he said, so I did that. But if you do that over three years or four years, right. you just compounded the number of workouts that you did. Nobody can catch you. So right. then if everybody's just doing two, you like leapfrog them by years. But then if someone's just getting started for them to get to the level that you're at, like they don't even have the time to do it. Right. So good. So, right. like, if everything is equal, athletic ability, everything else, yeah. it's the time that's put in. But it's that little so – the one extra workout a day, it's a, it's an awesome freaking interview. But that's the compound yeah, we'll effect. Yeah, we'll have to share it. I love yeah. it. That's at least how I think of the compound It's time effect. to close this book. We no, just need Brian's no. book. No. Well, close it really is good, it right? It's a really great book. So, like, and the, how you got started was the compound effect. Yes, and so. I do love that you talked about how just because somebody has a name on the book doesn't mean – like, we just said, how and do you listen to somebody? And there might be one of his best friends on here, and that's fine. That's, <laughs> nope. that's no, hey, perfect. But, but a lot of times people form opinions of you that, do. don't, that don't know you based on how you treat them. So right. it's a good lesson for me. Because I'm sure I've done the same thing. I've been busy. I've been in my head. I meet someone, hi, but I yeah. don't really take time to be like, yeah. hi, like being present. So I think that there's three different energy levels. Like when you're meeting someone, talk about compounding effect, yeah. like to compound even the connection of your relationship. One, there's an energy level that's a genuine, sincere feeling like, hey, it's nice to meet you. The other one is like a polite energy that, oh, hey, nice to meet you. But you don't really give it meaning. Like right. you're not really connected to your heart space. It's just you know that's the polite. Then the third one is, I think, more of a manipulation, an ulterior motive. Like when you know someone can do something for you, you go and you act like you're being sincere because you want something from them. Right. So you're giving to get. So anyway. Yeah. That's my favorite. So good. Beautiful. Are you things. going to the gym? No, we're just going to walk. going to compound the All effect right. of the workouts. We're gonna join them at the gym in a little bit. We already went. We already went for a walk. I just didn't know what y'all doing. I thought y'all might have been like doing like a like some type of Bible lesson or something. Yeah. We did talk. That would we, be hard. We did that. Working on it, Stephen Furtick. Any of you know Stephen Furtick out there? We got to get him. We need. No. We need to talk He's to coming him. to Brian's next event. It's gonna no, be. No, his post today made me like Stephen. That's He's right. He's a great speaker. Like, really great. Steve's working so, on it. I'm getting there. It's gonna happen. <laughs> Just a little bit of faith. We're going to get it. We'll donate to the church. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right. If you okay, didn't so know, for a lot of the moms that are on here, that was our CEO. That's our That's CEO. our good friend, Brian Underwood. Mm -hmm. And I, can we just take a little roll back? Okay, we'll roll back a second. Seven so. years ago is when this page cr was started. Almost seven years ago. Right. And honestly, we created something that we didn't really know what we were getting. We were really being a part of. Right. But I knew it was going to be great. And you've heard Stephanie's story talk okay. about this mom fuel. We're talking drinking. about choices. This was like, a choice. We made oh, a very so serious choice. It. And so, okay, here's what I want you to know. We're talking about choices and choices either make you or they, they ruin your life, right? Choices have consequences. And so we had the choice years ago once we tried uh, this key. I mean, we tried a product. We loved the product. We made a choice to fly across when we had nothing to go meet Brian. We were living paycheck to paycheck, needed $400 to pay for groceries, and legitimately our family was on food stamps. Single income, four daughters, yeah. and we were a homeschool family. And it's we interesting, chose it. like imagine if Brian would have treated us the way that he was treated in this in this example. Yeah, it is interesting. So this. We, this makes me think. And this is also why we need a, we a need. stand. This is what we teach about. Don't mess up good for Don't perfect. <laughs> this is live. Here's what I want you to know. We made, we've made we made many choices over the last seven years with our health. We've many, made many choices to get healthier, to feel stronger. The halo around And to around us. do things for our that. family that that will change our children's lives forever. Right? And, the, and choices have consequences <laughs> or they add value. Right. And so... We chose to fly across the United States because we there was a man, him, Brian, that we were like, okay, if we're going to be a part of this company, like if we're going to be a part of this, we actually need to go meet him to figure out who he is. So I love that he actually gave you that insight of how he felt about the author. Brian has been blessed to meet people all from all over the world, right? Mm -hmm. And so regardless, the concept is great. He didn't have a great experience, but also like... We flew across the world, met him to go, okay, we want to know if this is something we, we want to be a part of. And we made that choice and we've continued to make choices 
to grow our mindset, to plug into Brian, to plug into the community, to share what we love because it's changed our life so significantly. Well, and at that time of life, would you say we were playing pretty small? Like we didn't have a big network. You didn't have this big keto mom community. Like, we weren't, we were not listening to podcast. I mean, we, we had, we plugged into our church, but we weren't, we didn't understand the power of personal growth like we do today. Like Brian brought that into our life. He taught us how to believe in us. Yeah. He believed in us, you guys, when we it's true. didn't believe in ourselves. He believed in us and he would say like, there's greatness in you. You can do this. Like because of my husband who created the Keto Mom page, because of Brian and Steve keep telling me, hey, you should keep sharing. Even when somebody would be mean to me, <laughs> even when there was haters, even when, even when I didn't believe like this is not worth it. Like I. I don't know why I'm doing this. Nobody really cares. And then he's like, yeah, but it's changing your life. And so, but it wasn't overnight. You guys, today, what you're seeing today is seven years of a process of learning and growing and failing mm -hmm. and getting back up and learning and making choices to keep going. So good. It is. So at the end of the day, your life is really the sum total of the choices that you make. Right. And what are those areas and opportunities that are sitting right in front of you right now that you get to make the choice on? Right. And I would say go, uh, here's what's important is when you're faced with those choices, it's great when you have people in your life who you can run them by to get a different opinion, to get a different experience. And it's at the end of your life, you will be at a certain place based upon the choices that you make. Right. And so for those of you who are just popping on right now or just tuning in, as soon as this live's over, I'd really encourage you to go back and listen to the part where Brian was talking about those three things, making choices, his experience with, with the author of this book. But there's so much value that I feel was just, and I know the recording has been crazy, but that's what you get. Like, don't mess up good for perfect. Right. And this is live. This is real. And hopefully you've seen, hopefully you've received some value out of this. Yeah. I would just say this. We'll continue to go through chapter two. Well, I'm going to finish the book. The book in itself is a great concept. The book is great. I told Steve the other day or last night we were laying in bed and I said, you know, what's so funny is we've read so many incredible personal development books and every single person that has wrote these books basically took the concept from somebody else. They learned it. They kind of switched some things and then they yes. create a book. But almost every book that we've gone through here on the Keto Mom page has brought up one name that I've actually never read a book from, and his name is Jim Rohn. And so whether it was in Atomic Habits, whether it was The Miracle Morning, whether it's this book, The Compound Effect, um, I know we've gone through so many other books. Every single person has brought up this one name. And I told Steve last night, I said, isn't it funny that all of these, they've all been men, man author, men, they've all been men authors so far, have brought up one name who, who must have really changed all of personal development or all of personal growth for all of these men. He's not alive today, but I really need to probably dig into him. Right? Yeah. What I'm excited about is to see these keto moms that are on here go on and take some of these tips and write their own book. That's what so I'm excited about. So here's what we want to know is what are some choices that you feel like, what are some things in your life that you need to shift? You don't have to tell us if you want to. Awesome. You can tell us below. So basically he says this, nobody intends to become obese. Nobody intends to go bankrupt. Nobody intends to get a divorce. But sure. oftentimes those consequences are the result of small, poor choices you make every single day. So good. And uh, we'll go into this tomorrow, but he's basically going to dive into the power of, uh, it's called owning 100%. And what he's going to say is until you can legitimately own your choices and stop blaming other people and stop uh, blaming your circumstances like everybody has life happen to them and he says once you once you get to the point where like even in a relationship he said what do you think your relationship should be 50 50 mm, he said it should be a hundred zero like oh. when you're wanting something the choices that you make you need to be a hundred percent all in no matter what i can't blame you because you brought home the ice cream like i choose to eat the ice cream or not i can't blame you for anything from the past, like I have to own my emotions. I have to own my attitude. I have to own the things that I say to you a hundred percent. Does that That's, make sense? That is so good. And the reality is I did not bring home ice cream. No, but I was just saying like, there's been numerous times where I've done things like that. Well, okay. So oftentimes let's just be real. Has anybody on here ever blamed somebody else for their weight gain or for their lack of fat loss for or for sure. their lack of health? Or yeah. I ate this way because of, this person or because of my situation or I was born or grown up that way my environments well there is a point like 
we would talk about mindset. We're going to talk about choices, but until you can own a hundred percent of your choices and realize that you can't blame anybody else for where you are today, you're not going to go any further. So good. Right. Ah, oh, this is all so good. Please people just please people <laughs> take please, people. action in your life. Like playing small does not serve anybody. You're worth it. I, I just, I'm so excited because as I hear this stuff from you and as I see some of the chat, I just, I'm blown away to just think that every day you all have today, it's a gift that you get to go out and you get to, you get to pass this on to somebody. You get to go influence somebody. You get to go create a ripple effect in your home or in your community. And the choices that you make right. have a direct reflect, not only on your life, but on the lives of other. And I just, I get really excited about that. I yeah. really do because I mean, you get to be a champion for better. You get to go help people. You get to make the world a better place. And it just makes my heart happy. Yeah. <laughs> it really does. I love it. So last phrase for you for today. If it is to be, it's up to me. Up to you. If it is to be, it's up to me. And I think so often, especially in today's society, I mean, I don't watch the news. I try not to spend a whole lot of time on social media. He actually talks about that. But the reality is, like, I think it's painted a certain picture of, like, this is what the world is like. Um, it's like all the other people are in control or I don't want to go down the political path of things. But the reality is, like, your choices do make a difference. Your life does matter. And you get to change. You get to choose your heart. You get to, you get to choose your better. You get to choose how you spend your time. And all those things are so important. It's going to take time. It's going to take hard work. It's going to take plugging into communities and accountability. It's going to take you making the choices every single day of what you want. If you want to get healthier, guess what? Then you pack your lunch. You don't go out to eat. You don't eat the French fries. If you feel like you're not spending enough. Get your food there. If you're not feeling like you're spending enough time with your family, then you've got to look at the choices of where you're spending your time. If you financially need to get out of debt, or you want to be a saver, like you can't go to Target. Like, or you, I mean, it's just little things, right? Those it's little, little things, things those that little you're choices. like, okay, Make I have difference. to go get one thing, but not 20 things. Like, I know it sounds completely like common sense, but we do it every single day. We make excuses to make the choices that do not direct us in the right path we want to go. So we've got to focus, but we make these little choices that you're like, it's not a big deal. Tomorrow we'll start. Uh, it's not a big deal. I'm going to, I'm just, I really want that dress. Oh, I really want it. And I just put 30 more dollars on my card that I should have been saving. I'm just giving you a concept of how easy it is to make excuses. Right? I love when she's in Florida. Like you are fired up. It's warm down here. So we already went on a walk and we're going to go on another walk. She wanted to record this because she was super excited. And if you're tuning in, go watch the replay. Like, really, go watch this again because so this know, is gold. I really do love this book because as soon as we get to the power of, he's going to talk about luck. He's going to talk about tracking everything that you're doing. It's, it's super important and I need to get back to tracking my excuses time, like I've already shared. So like I need to make sure I'm being very strategic with my time and not wasting it. Okay. Strategic with time. That's so it. you're going to hear that in the near future. <clears throat> uh, thanks for tuning in. Yeah. Thanks for checking out Keto Mom. Thanks for being a part of the community. Uh, go watch her stories. There's going to be some, some super fun stories today. I would say if uh, you didn't share this message, go share it with somebody who you believe needs to hear it. Invite somebody into the community because we're better together. Anything else you, you want to say? Nope. Your choices are powerful. Pay attention today. He he's basically says, the last thing I'm going to say is he also said your choices, you like sleepwalk through life, right? Ooh, so everything that you like do, you do it naturally. So if you just today just had an awareness of everything you're doing and why you're doing it, is it a habit? Is it, be, it like, why are you doing the things that you're doing today? And just have an awareness. It, it boils down to, I need to have an awareness. I need to get out of the sleepwalking mode and I need to make a shift. Oh, that's it. All that's right. not it. Like that is so good. We're going to go on another walk because we're compounding compounding our efforts down here. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for sharing. Leave a comment down below, like how this has impacted you. Share this with somebody. And 100%, this will affect your fat loss. I know that you might be like, oh, good grief. If you don't get this, you're not going to get the goals that you want. You're not. It's, It's real. Like your mindset is powerful. The things you need to learn from other people. Regardless of the story of Brian realizing like how this man made him feel 
wasn't great, but he also said the concept behind the compound effect 100% works. Last thing, if you <laughs> loved what you heard from Brian, go follow him at, at Brian Undy on Instagram. Or you know what, if you wanna be a part of like what we get to do, Come join us at our next event. Just comment team down below. Sefi will get you some more information or send us a message. This stuff does matter. Your life matters. Choices matter. Okay. We're going to let you go. We'll this come back so later good. this afternoon and do another live. Ooh. Probably about keto Ooh, stuff. We're compounding the lives. Well, well, I usually do two a day. I usually like She's shake up ketones and then give you a keto tip. Maybe I'll tell you our story more of like, like the actual that. keto version and why I drink mom fuel. So All right. Good. We appreciate you. Thanks Always, you can in. send me a message with any questions that you have. We'll talk to you soon. Bye, everybody. See ya.